So today we will continue with a brief introduction of the first canto of Bhagavad and after that an analyzing the first three verses in brief. This first canto is some sort of preface to the whole work where the main exposer will be presented, the main person who will be hearing will be presented, the particular char characteristics of the situation will be presented and so forth. Particularly, we will also be focusing on Sarartha Darshini, the famous commentary of Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Pad, which is famous for being, let's say, a little bit like fanatical in the devotional sense, in the good sense of the term, like speaking of bhakti in a very extreme emotional way. But interestingly, he also mentions that he wrote that commentary after studying in detail the Satsandarbha of Sri Jiva Goswami. So the point is, he is really very much nicely founded established in Siddhanta and from there such a bhav, such an emotion is coming and that's the proper way always of course. So first sloka of Bhagavatam, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, etc. I won't say it together because it will take the whole video. It starts like giving a sort of invocation, Mangal Charan to the whole work in a seed way, all the content is there, it's a very condensed verse, Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta spoke about it for basically 30 days, and this is given the Sambanda to the whole work, starting with Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, there's the whole conclusion of the work, and at the end of the shloka, Satyam Param Dimahi, showing how the work is a commentary on naturally on Gayatri, let's meditate on the supreme highest truth. This verse not only is speaking about Krishna, how inter he interacts with his different shaktis, but also it has so many levels and layers of meaning, even concluding in the Madhurya Rasa conception of Brindav. The second shloka, Dharma Prajita Kaitavo, like this, is the Abhideya Tattva shloka, also called Bastunir Desh shloka, where the practice that takes to the goal is described, speaking of the Bhagavad as proposing this Dharma that is beyond all cheating. Dharma Praito Kaitabo, beyond Dharma Artha Kama Moksha, the highest Dharma, Prema Dharma, the message of love that the Bhagavad is known for, will be presented. This verse also speaks of three times of Atra, this, this emphasis speaking, Atra means here. In this work, the subject of reality will be presented, the highest Dharma will be presented, only through this work Krishna will be conquered. And lastly, that was not least, the third verse, Nigama Kalpatara speaks of the Bhagavatam as the desired tree who gives the topmost fruit of the, the, the side tree of Vedic knowledge, hmm? uh, that is Prajojan Tattva, Pirvata Bhagavatam Rasam Alayam, inviting us to taste the fruit of Bhagavat. Alayam means even beyond liberation, speaking of a post-liberated status, Alayam also means Pralaya, even you faint and lose your consciousness that it happens in Baba Bhakti, and Alaya means embrace as well. Until you receive the embrace of Sri Krishna himself in the spiritual world, you can continue drinking, and you will continue drinking even to that point. So these first three verses speak in brief about this Sambanda, Videya, and Prayojan that every Shastra contains, in this case, in the Bhagavad. See you next session.